this is a real disturbing story for me. And it should be for anybody else that is a human being. Um, because I don't use that word lightly. There's a lot of people walking around here with a whole lot of Neanderthal, a whole lot of monster, devil-like behavior. And so it is who they are. So when I hear stories like this, you know, even the institutions that fail us, this story was very sad. Um, a Milwaukee mother and daughter was found dead in the lake the day after the family reported them missing. Now, I want you to hear this. Uh, uh, on Thursday, December 8th, two bodies were recovered from North Ridge Lake. I used to live in North Ridge Lake. On the day of the incident, police confirmed that the bodies were of a 7-year-old girl and a 25-year-old woman, but would not release more information. Now, 12 News spoke with the victim's family and learned that the mother and daughter had been reported missing by family since the day before the vehicle was discovered. Kianta Boos, the paternal grandmother of 7-year-old Tyrell Jefferson, said, Tyrell's mother, Kalila Brister, has suffered from mental health issues for years. The family made multiple 911 calls after 25-year-old Kalila called them, threatening to drive into Lake Michigan with 7-year-old Kianta Tyrell in the car. No law enforcement agency ever called Kianta back. Did y'all hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? No law enforcement agency ever called Keonta back. Tyrell's uncle, Donnell Boost, is outraged that an alert to help find them was never sent out. Y'all don't even issue an alert out like somebody, and when somebody makes a threat like that and then they're missing, it just wasn't handled properly, said Donnell. 12 News reporter Hillary Mintz asked the sheriff and uh, emergency management why critical missing report was never issued. And the uh, police said, well, um, uh, uh, it's still under investigation. Now, what I'm saying to you guys is this kind of blatant disrespect for black people has got to stop. I mean, it's, it, it's been going on since Jeffrey Dahmer when you gave Conor Accenture some phone back to him. This shit is ridiculous. And what does it take for y'all to sit up here in 2022, going on 2023, to realize that that color shit is dead? I mean, you built a country off of bullshit. And now you're going to have to work your way out of this because guess what? I was listening to Jane Elliott. She said something very profound. She said, if a white person isn't racist, then that means this country hasn't done its job. If they, The only way you see a white person that's not racist is they've done the work. They truly care about humanity. They don't want to be. They know the history. They don't have their head buried in the sand like uh, 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 the, the the people in the South in the, the school board district that doesn't want to teach about what happened in this country and because they don't want to make white children feel bad, although black people and black children go through this life every single day feeling bad. This type of stuff has got to stop. It's unacceptable, and it ain't going to keep being tolerated because this is white fragility. The fact that you wouldn't even go and check on a missing, uh, 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 somebody that made a threat like that, lets me further know that if they had been a white girl, y'all would have went after her. You would have looked. You would have put out an Amber Alert. You would have did something. They did nothing. And they found a girl and her mother in the bottom of Lake North Ridge Lakes, submerged and drowned and dead. This is the kind of shit that really sets my uh, sets me off. 
Because it don't take that much to love somebody. You don't. To just treat somebody. You don't got to love them. Just treat them decent. And I think about, again, what I said about Jane Elliott. She said if white people aren't prejudiced or racist, if they're not, then that means they had to do work on their own. Because most of them are taught that way. And if they wasn't taught that way by their parents, they was taught that way by the school system. They were taught that way by their relatives. They were taught that they were superior. They were taught that they were better than. They were taught. And that's all they heard was that these people are uh, subordinate. They're up under you. This, And then the news, who is nothing but the racist, transparent scribes and Pharisees of these days that write information that continue continuously exploit all the negativity of the black race and very minimum about the white race. See, we used to do a show back a long time ago called um, uh, what was the name of that program? It was a uh, white dysfunction or something to that effect. And all we did was we, we just brought stories of white. Um, this was all throughout Wisconsin. It took us off the air. Uh, but what we did was we we brought forth all the devastation, all the murder, all the mayhem, all the violence that white folks perpetrated against one another. They didn't like that because, see, they want to face a crime to be black. So you can continue to look at us as less than, more violent. More this, more that, to keep the, the the fragility of white people up sustained, and to keep the degradation and subjugation of black people on the front burner. You know, all light bodies and people with a human heart, they got to start getting real about this racism because the only way we can survive as a nation is together. Otherwise, this country is doomed. You can't think in your spiritual mind, if you got any spirit, that you can bring people and capture them and kidnap them to create a country to send them out there and chop down sugar cane and send them in there with the snakes and every damn thing else and have them, they built the White House and every goddamn thing else and then try to then kick them out of society. They had to go through reconstruction, civil rights, all this stuff. And y'all think y'all going to keep this stuff going on forever and ever? And this is going to sustain the country? The country is going to go up. Because we ain't going to keep on taking this shit. And what we take, our next generation ain't going to take. It ain't going to take it. And so... We would do ourselves as, as a human family. We would do ourselves such a great service if we would start working on our racism and then that means going to the systemic aspect of it. Dealing with police that don't want to, uh, that police black bodies and white bodies different. All this stuff it has got to be torn down and replaced with a system of equality and justice. And with that being said, that's what's up and on the burning today. I hope y'all understand what I'm talking about. If you don't, you'll get it soon. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share.